In this video, we will be talking about expert tips and strategies for selecting a blog niche in 2023. Hello everyone and you welcome back to Millimere by 25. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content which we will be putting out. Without further ado, let's head right into today's video. This age is the most crucial time to strategically choose your blog niche, as recent statistics show an estimated 31.7 million bloggers in 2023. The saturation of the blogging industry already makes it clear that niching down presents a fantastic opportunity to stand out. Furthermore, to fully grasp the concept of niching down, it is crucial to understand the precise techniques for narrowing down your focus. This video presents 10 expert strategies that can guide you in selecting the ideal blog niche for your specific goals. Let's get started. Number 1. Avoid picking a broad niche. The concept of niching down implies a preference for avoiding a generalized niche. In many cases, a broader niche tends to diminish the chances of achieving success in blogging, particularly for beginners. Focus on becoming more specific with your niche to increase your chances of success. Attempting to work on broad topics means that you'll be competing with already established blogs, which in itself is a good ambition but can be challenging to achieve. Instead, it's better to narrow down. For example, rather than blogging about business generally, it might be good to blog about how to grow small businesses on social media. However, remember that you still have to pick a niche with a large enough audience. 2. Know about your niche. Unlock your potential by embracing familiarity and expertise. Don't wait for a soothsayer to tell you what feels right. In the realm of success, knowledge is key. Find your niche and strike the perfect balance. And remember, even if it's uncharted territory, thorough research will be your guide in life. Follow the path of familiarity and let your knowledge shine. Quality content effortlessly flows when you work on what comes naturally. It's best to embrace your experience, for your audience craves wisdom for those who generally know their onions. 3. Make sure it is profitable. Passion alone won't sustain a profitable blog. Before choosing your niche, ensuring it has a paying audience is crucial. Research key indicators. Are there books on the subject? How well are they performing? Are companies advertising relevant products? Once you confirm this potential, dive in and give it a shot. Number 4. Ensure your niche is sustainable. Imagine starting a blog about the war in Ukraine. That sounds like a good idea for now. But what happens in the next few years? Your guess is as good as mine. In trying to carve out a perfect blog niche, you'd want to ask if that niche is evergreen. Would it continue in the years to come? For example, could there be a time when people will stop talking about their health? There are areas humans may continually discuss. The health niche is an example. In selecting a niche, consider the long-term performance of your blog. Think of what your niche would look like in the coming years. An excellent way to discover is by looking at what has existed for some time. However, new areas may still evolve. Number 5. Use keyword research. Another way to discover your niche is by performing keyword research. This way, you discover what people are searching for. In most cases, if related keywords have more searches, then building a niche in those areas may be better. Keyword tools play a crucial role in aiding this task, and Google Trends prove to be particularly useful in determining the popularity of a specific topic. With this software, you can gain insight into the performance of your niche. Also, it is advisable to opt for a trending upward niche rather than a declining one. Number 6. Start a social media page for your intended niche. A practical approach to evaluating the potential of a blog niche is by sharing a preview of your intended content. Creating a media page dedicated to your niche allows you to post links to the content you plan to share on your blog. 
This strategy can serve as a valuable indicator of the potential performance of your blog. Consider alternative options for your blog niche if you need help generating the desired traction or engagement on your media page. Number seven, ensure you're interested in your niche. It's time to flip the coin. We've discussed choosing a profitable niche earlier, but here's a cover. Profit shouldn't be your central motive for picking a blog niche. If you blog for money, you'd probably burn out just weeks or months into starting. Instead, choose a niche you generally care about. With motivation, it's easier to keep creating new content. So, to create balance, pick a niche you find interesting. Number 8. Research the market for products in your niche. One of the significant ways bloggers earn is through referring products to readers and getting a commission for sale in terms of profitability. If you plan to earn through affiliate marketing, you'd want to find out if there's a market for products or services relating to your niche before picking a blog niche. More so, a large market for related products is usually an indicator that there's already an audience for your blog. Number 9. Learn about the target audience in your intended niche. Learning about your target audience is helpful before you delve into the vast ocean of blogging in a particular niche. Your audience is the customers in your blogging business. Finding out what they're talking about or searching for can help you know if you'll be able to create what's required to stand out in that niche. An easy way to learn about your audience would be by joining conversations on platforms like Quora or other social media platforms. Number 10. Pick a niche that addresses pain points. The average person will mainly visit a blog because they require a solution. In considering a niche for your blog, pick a plan that helps your readers with their daily lives. This way, you set out a need being the pain point you wish to address and then create a blog that addresses that pain point. A blog niche that solves the problem of the audience is likely to get the readers coming back. Number 11. Beware of sensitive niches. Why blogging may seem like a hobby or fun activity, it's vital to point out that most times the information you'd be sharing as a blogger goes a long way to impact the life of your readers. The implication is that the wrong advice you give has the potential to wreak havoc in a reader's life. So, avoid jumping into highly sensitive niches is usually helpful. For example, niches related to the reader's well-being, health, finances, or safety. However, suppose you'd be picking a niche in this category, you'd have to be ready to provide high-quality, reliable, and accurate information, as most search engines demand the highest standards for content in these niches. 12. Hobbies and accomplishments Finding the right niche may be closer than you think by taking notes of your hobbies, experiences, previous jobs, or accomplishments, you can find a hint as to what you're passionate about. For example, suppose you've had experiences with coming out of debt. Consider blogging about how to accomplish this feat. You may also discover that a common thread connects most of your accomplishments, indicating a favorable niche. 13. Check out for competition. When picking a blog niche, the advice is to avoid competition, and while that may be true to an extent, choosing a niche with moderate bribery is also essential. A paying audience might not be available for that niche if competition doesn't exist in a field. Additionally, having some level of competition is beneficial as it can open doors for collaboration opportunities with other bloggers in your niche. On the other hand, if you find an overwhelming amount of competition, it may be a time that you need to narrow down and find a unique angle to distinguish yourself within that niche. Standing out and offering something different or more specialized can help you attract and retain an audience amidst the competition. Striking the right balance between competition and differentiation is critical to building a successful blog in a thriving niche. Except you plan to blog for fun and you don't care about making a successful blog, picking the right blog niche is a vital decision 
you'd have to make. Selecting the right blog niche is one of the most critical steps to establishing a successful blog. Finding the right niche, you'll align yourself properly to fit your passion, expertise and audience needs. With the expert tips and strategies in this video, you'll well be on your way to selecting that perfect income generating niche where your creativity can flourish and your voice can shine. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like rating and be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below and I will see you in another amazing video next time on Millennial by 25.